Hey everybody, GD Viper 51 here. Uh, I recorded about three hours of playing RimWorld earlier just to find out that the software for the capture card completely screwed it up and I had no audio. Well, I had audio from the game, but none of my voice. Which, you're not really missing out on a whole lot, but... Uh, RimWorld's a game where you've crash-landed on uh, a planet on the edge of colonized space, and you have to take your three survivors and make a colony. Getting new survivors along the way, getting attacked by pirates. So... There are multiple modes. There is... This would be the standard mode, Cassandra Classic. And there's CB Friendly, which is really, really easy. Randy Random, which obviously is completely random events. And then Tough. And then there's Chill. So there's Classic, Super Easy, Psychotically Hard, and not Super Easy, but not Tough either. So we'll go with her. <clears throat> Alright, Andrew, now here's where we get to see all of our stuff for our people. Um, he is good with research and construction, but will not grow plants or anything. He's, and, he, and apparently he's incapable of cleaning, which, with a research level 9, I guess that's not bad. And he's good at shooting and mining, so we'll probably keep him research, social, artistic. Uh, we'll randomize him, see what we come up with. Uh, we're going to randomize that too. Research and crafting. Uh, that's okay. Construction's good, mining's good, shooting's decent, melee's good. Social's really good, so we'll keep Mr. Thomas Taxman Trucker. And then we'll check out uh, Edward Toon. Social cooking artistic. Come on, man. Medicine. Oh, that's too bad. Social medicine. Okay, here we go. Now we got one. Colony settler incapable of being scary. Squeamish and missing a finger. Oh, those really don't matter right now, but that's just kind of funny. We'll go with that. I think we'll just go with a regular map size. Last time I got a great map spot. Um, I kind of got screwed up in the beginning, so this time I'll try to avoid that. Maybe it's a good thing I'm restarting after three hours of fucking recording this. <sighs> Three of you awaken in your long sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded, star <laughs> shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so first of all, we're going to highlight all this. This is metal. I'm going to zoom way out, uh, highlight, come on, all of it, and press F, highlight all the silver all across the map, press F, highlight all the food across the map, and press F, F, makes it so my guys can actually get to it. Uh, I do like this spot, I do not like the fact that there are no geothermal generators around, which it looks like this map is going to be pretty scarce. Geothermal generator right there, but no cover for it. Um, let's see, geothermal generator way over there, but I think that's probably too close to the edge of the map to build on. Oh, we've got some stuff up here we need to make grabbable. So we kind of got shot on, shot on for the geothermal part. Come on. Those are berries. Food. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to just chill out right here. Um, dang. That geothermal, gener the geothermal generator is way too exposed. Alright, we'll just make it out here. That's fine. Alright, let's see who's got the best shooting. Taxman character, let's see, shooting is three. Shooting is three. Shooting is six. All right, Sunshine, you get the Lee Enfield right there. Ivia, you get the pistol. Taxman, you get the other pistol. All right. Zones, we're going to delete both of these zones. All 
We're going to add this whole area here as a home region. Before I forget. What that will do is if there's a fire or a catastrophe in the home region, they'll automatically run to that spot and attempt to put out the fire or anything like that. Grow zone. Let's see where there's a grow zone. There. Okay. So first of all, we'll put a grow zone in right here. We'll put a dumping stockpile. Let's put it over here out of the way, I suppose. And we'll put our regular stockpile. Um, let's put it right there just to be safe. Okay, and then we're going to order these guys to move this, this, that, and that. Can we move that? Nope. That, and that. Alright, check the overview. This is where we can decide who does what. Five and seven, so we'll go with that. He's a doctor, good. AVO does not firefight, damn it. Um, don't care about cooking, don't care about art, don't care about crafts. You will clean. You will do plant cutting. Everyone will do mining, you will help grow. Don't particularly care about hunting. Alright, that's a pretty good setup. Andy's a bit of a fucking pussy though. That's alright, he'll keep uh he'll keep doing hauling while everyone else is doing other things. And we're gonna speed it up to double time. So while they're growing, Andy's moving stuff. Which is good, because he's going to be grabbing a lot of the metal we're going to need for this room. Over here it shows you that some objectives you might need to get. First is build a room and need a meal source. They will eat from gathered meal sources, but for some reason it wants you to build a nutrient paste dispenser. Uh, I'm not sure why that's such a big priority, but it is. <coughs> And I'm just going to let Andy grab all this stuff while they're, they're doing their thing. This actually is not a bad spot, to be honest. There's some uh, muffalo down here. A lot of resources. I guess this spot would probably be a much better spot. Um, actually, that would be a fantastic spot. Maybe I'll dig through the mountainside and go down there and grab that. That would be a fantastic spot. Wall that part off. Put all your buildings back in here and everyone has to come from one direction. That's awesome. Terrible band, but... Wait, are these all chicks? No, that one's... There's two chicks and a taxman. Okay. Uh, go away, muffalo. They can become aggressive and try to kill my peoples. My peoples. All right, while they're sleeping, we'll set up a structure. Structural plans. Here. Here. There. walls in there. We'll actually pause because I'm going to put a door in right here, a door in up top, a door into the right, all which are powered. Don't have any power yet, I know. Get off me. <clears throat> but we will. As soon as I get this room built, and I'm going to cause them to mine next. And I will have this section mined out. As well as this section.
This here on the map is metal containing uh, rocks. So when you mine it, it drops metal. This is just regular. Uh, it looks like there's actually a thin roof above that, which hopefully will not collapse and kill all my people. Good, it did not. Okay, so we'll pause it. Now, make her a tad bigger. Come down here, there, boom. Okay, move along, people. Oh, door. Oh, can't forget a door. Uh, there. Finish that up, tax man. Very nice, very nice. Get night time. And we are severely lacking in food. Although there is a ton of... Oh, nope, they just dropped food off. Thank God. Alright, next we will build solar power. Like so. And then we're going to put a power conduit there, there. We can get some power in here and get this nutrient paste, paste dispenser going. Say we can put food there, right? Alright, hey, we're getting some power now. Good dealio. Gotta love that. It's gonna be hard to defend, but it'll do. Alright, next we'll throw in a nutrient pa paste dispenser. Um, these guys are just going to pick up some items. Keep our stockpile of iron up, or ore, or metal ores up. I'm pissed off, by the way, that that thing didn't save like it should have. <laughs> Real pissed off. Throw that down, then we'll throw some hoppers along there. The hoppers will automatically feed the raw food into the nutrient paste dispenser. Need defenses, I know. Those are batteries, so those will be built and they will store energy so that we can have light during nighttime. And we will actually have to set up some turret defense here pretty quick. Here we go, just like that. Look at that. I think what I'll do next is... Do something nice and build everybody a bed. Bed, bed, and a bed. And get rid of this shit here. Maybe we'll go with a standing lamp in the middle of the room too, why not? See, they go and get the uh, paste from the paste dispenser, which is kind of disgusting to think about. Oh, that's not connected. Well, son of a bitch, didn't think about that structure. There. Boom. We have light. I do believe this is a metal roof. Yep, the whole thing is covered in a metal roof, which is good. All right, who we got? A group from Village at the Ridge are visiting the colony. All right, cool beans. Don't care. Don't know what significance that really makes right now.
Oh, here they are. We got Yuko and Chung. Wow, okay. Look at that, isn't that nice, you guys? Oh, what the fuck's going on? Jesus, that thing crashed right on top of us. Damn, what the hell is this? Uranium? Anything but frickin' uranium, thanks a lot. All that out of the way, that out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, scared the hell out of me. I was like, what the fuck, crash land? I thought it was like bad guys for a second. Oh, great. That's yeah, just weenie right off the bat. I'm trying to keep the batteries away from the people because the batteries have a tendency to explode. Looks like we're gonna need more dumping zones. So I shall make another dump zone here. They're gonna go out and get some stuff. They'll come back and they'll grab some... These look like they're about to be fully... grown pretty close. So we'll call it good there and come back and catch you in the next one.